Donald Trump is in full panic mode this morning following a disastrous debate performance where Vice President Kamala Harris just ripped him to shreds. To try to cope, he called up Fox and told them, though, that he probably wouldn't debate anymore and that he wouldn't debate with Fox if Brett Baer hosted. I'll show you that in just a moment. Then he sent an email at 6.34 a.m. and prior to that, an email at 5.39 a.m. His campaign did, that is, uh, to his supporters on his listserv pretending that he won the debate and then selling American flag pins that have the name Trump over the American flag, thus desecrating our flag. Donald Trump writes the following email uh, to his supporters. I love ABC News. My debate against Comrade Kamala last night was a total blowout. So I guess he's relying on the fact that maybe people didn't watch it. <laughs> at all. He goes on to say, I've been dying to know what you thought ever since I stepped off the stage. So Ben, how did I do? Please tell me that I won bigly. Before you respond, I also just want to say I will always love you. So thank you for your support. You really mean the world to me. But if it isn't too much trouble, can you respond by the end of the night? That's how he's coping. He's asking if he won bigly. And he says, but before you answer, please know that I really, really love you so much. How pathetic can you get? And then he sends this one at 5.39 a.m. The official presidential pin featuring America's favorite president. Not true. The least favorite, the worst in history. And then it's an American flag pin with Donald Trump's name on it. You see right there, it says, Trump, wear this to show your support. Again, desecrating our great flag, we the people's flag at the United States of America. Now, here Donald Trump calls into Fox and he says that he's likely not going to debate anymore. Let's show you what he did when he called in this morning. Play the clip. Right. So, Mr. President, debate, I don't, so, I don't Mr. know President, that I want to do another debate. Right. Uh, so you do I, right at the end, as I was interrupting. So you you don't know if you want to do another debate. It sounds like you're a no. Well, I'd be less inclined to because we had a great night. We won the debate. We had a terrible, a terrible network. I think they were terrible. They should be embarrassed. I mean, they kept correcting me. And I, what I said was largely right or i hope it was right but what they said was absolutely wrong the other you know what her, what she said and they were they refused to correct i even complained a couple of times why aren't you correcting them mm -hmm. look they should have corrected six or seven times she right. told an outright lie another one is uh, project 2025 they know it has nothing to do with me she mentioned it all night long and they refused to correct it and everybody you know i haven't I have nothing to do with Project 2025. But I am not inclined to do it because I won the debate right. by a lot. But I think we let it settle in and let's see what happens. I, I will say this. I think that... And then he was asked if he would do a debate on Fox. And he was saying, well, if Jesse Waters or Sean Hannity or Laura Ingraham do it, maybe. But I'm not going to do it with Brett Baer. Brett Baer will be too mean to me. This is what he's doing right now. Play this clip. Mr. President, uh, I know uh, when we started the interview, you said that uh, you felt that you won the debate last night, uh, your best ever. Um, I think before the debate happened last night, the Kamala Harris people said that they would actually like to do another debate in October. And I know that uh, last night Fox News uh, offered, sent letters to your campaign and her campaign offering three dates of uh, debates moderated by Martha and Brett. Uh, one is October 9th in Arizona. Well, I wouldn't want one to have Martha and Brett. I'd, I'd love to have somebody else other than Martha and Brett. I'd love to have, uh, frankly, Sean or Jesse or Laura, uh, you know, somebody else. Let's give, let's give other people a shot. But I didn't think Martha and Brett were... Uh, well, good last night. Well, I thought here, Jesse was Jesse was fantastic last night. What he said, Jesse really got it. Jesse said that Trump won that debate. That was we won that debate by a lot. No, I wouldn't want Martha involved. Okay, I would, Mr. President, but I would take some others. So, yeah. Speaking of Sean Hannity, last night Sean Hannity predicted there would be a point zero zero one percent chance that Trump will be provoked. Let's show you that. Let's show you that clip. 
Do I think that she will be able to rattle him in any way? No, I, I would argue right now the chance is 0.001%. Do I think he will be respectful? I do. Well, that prediction didn't work out too well. Um, <laughs> and then let's take a look over here how that prediction turned out when Donald Trump said the moment that Vice President Kamala Harris would laugh that she would lose. Here, play this clip. I, I've, you know, I've been waiting for her to laugh because as soon as she laughs, the election's over. They're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating, they're eating the pets of the people that live there. And this is what's happening in our country, and it's a shame. You may assume that you're getting everything your body needs from your diet or simple green juice, but I recently discovered that most people, including myself, are still short on essential nutrients our bodies need to function at our best. So I've been taking momentous creatine, omega-3, and protein daily to ensure that all of my bases are covered. These three supplements support nearly every aspect of my foundational health, from aiding my cognitive function to reducing inflammation in my muscles and joints, just to name a few. My momentous daily protocol has become a staple in my health routine and makes the perfect addition to other wellness products that are part of my toolkit as well. Look, supplements can feel like a dirty word and navigating the space can be daunting due to the lack of trust and transparency in the space, but I've come to learn that I can trust momentous which makes the decision easier. My trust in Momentus is because of their dedication to working with the best, from their collaboration with experts to their unparalleled commitment to only using the highest quality ingredients. And they invest in third-party testing, holding their products to the same types of standards set by the most demanding organizations in the world, like the NFL and the NBA. They call it the Momentus standard, which is really the industry's leading standard in quality. Look, there's a reason why the world's best athletes and experts use and help develop momentous products. So if you're like me and you want to take supplements that are made by and used by the best in the world, go to livemomentous.com slash Midas Touch and use the code Midas Touch to get up to 20% off your first order. That's livemomentous.com slash Midas Touch and use the code Midas Touch. And so the cope is endless on Fox this morning. Um, this is an actual Chiron on Fox. Trump cookies outsell Harris cookies at Pennsylvania Bakery. That's real right there, folks. And then the slight, the uh, stock market was slightly down today. So Fox Business claims that the Dow is down because investors are spooked that Vice President Kamala Harris had a strong debate performance. You can't. This propaganda is endless. Play this clip. We're looking at the markets this morning, Congressman, and certainly, uh, Chairman, excuse me, you've got the Dow down 123 right now. And, and some of this is because investors are looking to what could be the tax policy under a Harris administration. Uh, many say that, that they believe that she uh, baited former President Trump and did well last night. And, and she was well-spoken and well-prepared. Don't want to debate that with you, but the Trump tax cuts are set to expire. Uh, and again, let me reiterate that the stock market is up about 45 to 50% since Donald Trump stopped disgracing the office under Biden-Harris. The stock market is up, but that should not be the main metric for how we view our economy, although it's how Donald Trump was graded and considering it's 50% better right now, I think it's still worth noting, but also... Um, America's GDP is the fastest growing of G7 nations, the only GDP of any major economy to exceed its 2019 estimates, and that was pre-COVID. Um, so you've got all of that. Let me just show this as well. This is Gavin Newsom talking about Donald Trump getting his clock cleaned last night. Take a watch at this. He was just here yep. uh, spinning his spin. Yep. What do you think that represents in terms of his assessment? Of uh, an act of desperation. He knows he got his clock clean from the moment she came out on stage. When she introduced himself, she had the courage to go over to him, shake his hand. Clearly he was uncomfortable and introduced herself as Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris. She commanded the room from the second she came out. She was a commander in chief and she had him on the defense the entire night. If this was a prize fight, it would have been TKO in the second round. She did as well or better than any of us could have hoped for. And I know her well enough to know this. The best is yet to come. She can get even more with more experience, more time uh, on the campaign trail. You're going to see the quality of her performance only improve. 
and the endless cope this morning on Fox continues. They had MAGA Mike Johnson show up on Fox and MAGA Mike Johnson claims that Trump actually won the debate, citing polls from Newsmax and The Daily Caller and again attacking the moderators. That's all they're, that's all they're doing. Play this clip. Reaction to the debate last night. Well, I tell you what, President Donald Trump is the reigning presidential debate champion. And even though the contest was three to one last night, he clearly prevailed. I looked at seven or eight polls this morning, viewer polls. I mean, Newsmax had him win in 93 to six. C-SPAN had him 65, 35 as the victor. The Daily Caller says it was 73 to nine something like 73 to 8. They gave 19 points to the moderators because they were so lopsided for the other side, fact-checking only Trump and allowing her to escape through that. This is what stuck out. Donald Trump's press secretary went on CNN and was asked, when are we going to hear about Trump's concept of a health care plan? No response. <laughs> Play this clip. His concept of a plan on health care. He said, you'll be hearing about it in the not-too-distant future. When are we going to be hearing about that concept of a plan? Well, as he said, in the not too distant future, and President Trump's health care plan can be summarized best by, but I don't have a date for you this morning, John, but I'll definitely get back to you with one as soon as I can. More Donald Trump whining, where he said, so many of the things I said were debunked. Play this clip. This was incredible. I mean, everything, so many things I said were debunked, totally debunked, like Charlottesville, uh, like mm -hmm. uh, I could, I have a list of seven different things, and she could say anything she wanted. Everything, every time I spoke, and my stuff was right, uh, they'd uh, correct you. And there are so many Republican voters and former Trump voters we're hearing from after the debate. Take a look at this one. Uh, how did vice? What type of impression did Vice President Harris make on you tonight, as a McCain Republican with members of the McCain family now endorsing yeah. uh, Vice President Harris? Yeah, Bobby McCain came in and said it would be a disaster for the country if uh, Trump got back into the office and his brother did too and so it, it's just i mean i think there's a clear line that there are people who understand the importance of this election and there's people who want to just play you know keyboard warriors and making a fuss and and really saying heinous things about other people I, so that's trump the bully and i think kamala harris came out showing some decorum and some presidential uh, nature about her so i think we're the door's a little bit open. And take a look at this clip. But it also sounds like this debate cemented for you that you will never vote for former President Trump, at least again. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that people want to separate um, policy from character, and I just don't see how you can do that. I can't get behind somebody who maybe I agree with certain policies on, but their character is atrocious and lacks complete leadership. There you have it, folks. Hit subscribe. Let's get to 4 million together. Thanks for watching. Real quick, Meta just changed their algorithm to suppress political content. Please follow our Instagram at Midas Touch right now as we head towards 400,000 followers so you don't miss a beat.